don't mind me, I'm just getting out my toys. You know who this is. It's time for the RX Comic Book Week. This is the last review of 2011. Oh, yeah, what a year in comic books. So let's get to it right away. One dollar less than most other comic books. Yes, kick-ass number two. Uh, paper quality is not as good as it normally is, but who cares? It's kick-ass, it's fun, and like I said, it's a... Need I say more? It's kick-ass. Okay, one of the nice books I've been liking all along, Mice Templars. Really nice series. Interesting. Sort of a darker version of Mouse Guard. The only other alternate I picked up this week... Not the best artwork, but I, I kind of like the Kirby stuff, so... Weak spot. Oh, okay! Marvels, Avengers Crusade, nice artwork, story's been okay, however, getting to be a little bit predictable. Yeah, it's finally over! Why did I buy it in the first place? I don't know! That's a junkie. You buy it and you keep buying. Alright, the confusing one this week, Captain America 5 and 6 at the same time. Woo! Okay, 5 was here. Eh. Six. Well, you got a wonderful new creative team. Interesting, interesting take. Storyline they've done before. Cap loses his power, kind of thing. Whatever. Captain America and Bucky, or the old Captain America series, number six twenty-five. Okay, story. So, so read. Alpha Flight number seven. Yes, the Wolverine is in Alpha Flight. It's where he belongs, people. All right, almost cover of the week. Uh, the inside artwork sucked. But the cover wasn't bad. Secret Avengers. The writing's not bad, but the artwork's just... Ugh. I mean, really, it's... It's, you know... Wow, okay. Ugh. Yeah, rest my case. Alright, The Mighty Thor. Probably the nicest book this week for Marvel. Not the best cover, but not a bad book. Avengers Solo. This will be the Oh No of the week. Okay, I'm actually giving this Marvel comic book the cover of the week. The artwork inside is horrible. The story is kind of eh, but it is one of the cool covers. The FF. All Hell Doom. It's a nice, cool cover. Which brings us to one of my favorite topics all year long has been the New 52. All right, Justice League Dark number four. Probably the best one so far of this title. I'm not too crazy about it. Yes, let's tell more Secret Origins again that we already know, because let's be honest, how many new people are actually really buying comic books? None. Okay, game spinoff, Uncharted, not bad. One of my favorite reads of the week, disappointing cover, but all Western. One of the few things they've gotten right. It's nice to have Western comic books. DC Universe Online! Uh oh, I think I know which way this is going. Uh, enjoyable books, Savage Hawkman. I like the painted type artwork. It's nice and consistent. The story is kind of on the dark side. All right, Teen Titans number four. Yes, they've had to reinvent the Teen Titans. But wait, it gets worse. How about Firestorm number four? Yes, now Russia has a Firestorm. So there's not one Firestorm, not two. There's more. Talk about, you know, stupid. Okay, one they haven't screwed up, Green Lantern and the New Guardians. I'm not crazy about the New Guardians title, but the Green Lantern series has been consistent. Uh, one of the few that I've been enjoying. It's not always the best story, but I like the storyline of it. Black Ox. Alright, I Vampire number four. Uh, artwork's a certain style that's okay. The story's a bit okay. You know, not exactly what I would call a regular DC comic. This should be in the Vertigo line and make it a little bit more darker. Survive number four. Once more, I like the suit, like the new artwork. I don't like the changes in continuity. Voodoo four. Ugh. Okay, one of the good ones they've done. DC, I still give you credit for this. I like Hawkman. It's a good book. And just to show you... Don't you mean Aquaman? You said Hawkman. I'm t I like Hawkman, too. I'm tired. Much, much all girl. But just to show you a little something... i got to find the one page here. Yes! 
You're my favorite superhero! See? If you really think about this way, Aquaman could probably beat the bejeebies out of Superman. Underwater, bottom of the ocean, the pressure alone, super strong. Alright, the Flash. The excuse for the new 52, Flashpoint. Ugh. Okay, Dark Knight, fairly consistent, like I said. Alright, that's it for this week. Uh, don't forget, RX lost a ton of toys. New toys came in. Some our new Marvel Universe toys came in. Yes, Mad Montreal Girl wants me to mention they have Star Wars chopsticks. Wee! Vroom, 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 vroom. Okay, some of you gay people might have gotten gifts of gifts from RX. Go use them. Buy stuff. There's tons of things. A beautiful, nice new statue came in. I'll give you a hint. Milo Manera. Really nice. Uh, a lot of good things. I don't know why I'm clapping my hands. I'm trying to stay awake. Ah, I just read all the comic books. Ah! Speed me! That's pretty much it. I'll be doing a special editorial on the new comics, which I'll be posting on the YouTube channel. I'll spare you guys at RX, but if you want to watch it, go to my YouTube channel. You'll see my uh, editorial on the new 52. That's it for this week. We'll see you guys in 2012, the year we all supposedly die. We have lightsabers. We have lightsabers, yes. We have lightsabers, Mad Montreal. Oh, look, and they stick together. Yay. All right. Mad Montreal, Mad Rx Comics. See you next year.